in many internal arts, Tai Chi, Sing Yi, Five Answers Feast or anything, you, they say you must follow the concept of, and the theory. If you are not following the concept or theory, you are not doing the art, right? Yes. And so, concept of Wu Mei is stealth. So, how does your form represent stealth? Okay, so I'm going to do a first couple of hands of Wu Mei. Okay. okay? Wu Mei goes. <laughs> okay. Forget about the rest of the movement, just do the first movement where I, I'm here and I stay behind. Yeah, okay? So, yeah. I want you to do the same thing. Okay. Yeah. So we do a pressure test. Yeah. So you're, you're going to do the same thing. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I can't move. You can't move. Leave your hand behind. Where I have you here, leave it here and move backwards. Yeah. yeah? Wipe. That involves no strength. No. That involves no jing. That involves no yi. That involves no qi. The concept is stealth. By the time you are holding me here, by the time you realize it's too late, tai chi zhao, as they say in Cantonese. So it's tai chi. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. Okay? So it's too late. When you realize what is happening, it's too late. Yes. So Wu Mei is called the too late feast. By the time you realize what I'm doing, it's too late. It's you stealth. You can't do anything about it. Years ago, when, I, when Grandmaster was in the hospital, you know, I went and visited him and he was in a playful mood. And he asked me to punch him. And I went, this. His finger came out here. He touched me at the right spot. And I froze. I couldn't move forward. Neither could I move backwards. And you know what he said to me? He said, I gave you nothing. I took nothing away from you. And that was a very deep statement. I thought about it for a while. I didn't get it. A guy in the forum, his name was Fan Wei Yang. He's a Tai Chi player. He says, I give you everything and I take everything back from you. Again, this example here. You see, if I'm doing this, I, I'm giving you something. Yes. Okay? I'm giving you nothing. And I took nothing away from you when I moved back. No. Am I correct? Yes. Right. The other version is, what you want, you wanted my hand. I gave you everything. When I take back, I take everything back. Oh, okay. But we, we, we never realize what people are trying to tell us. Until when we do the art, he then explained to me, leave your hand behind. So it does not matter you do Tai Chi, Sing Yi or anything. It pays to leave your hand behind. Sometimes. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Right? It pays to live. So, in Wu Mei, Wu Mei is stealth. And what I did was stealth. You didn't know what happened. And by the time you realize what happened, pop, I hit you. Yes. So, same, same way for uh, Tai Zhu. Tai Zhu is a vicious art. Right? So, when it goes, <laughs> from the outside, you're going to ask me, what the hell is this? Yeah. Again, we do pressure tests, which means stand right, right, right leg in front, you see. So if I catch you, blade out, so if I catch you, you're trying to turn your hand, yes. it's not going to be easy for you to turn this hand. Because no. I, I've locks got you, shoulders. I've locked you, right? I'm holding you like a gorilla, right? Again, same thing, 
no, this hand like be let go. Uh, this actually is like this, this, and then this. Yeah. So here I can't turn you. Because you're fighting strength against strength. So feel what I'm doing to you. You can't hold me. You cut in me first. You yes. Cut into the hand. I cut into your hand. All right. I'll do it slowly. All right. Here. I'm not moving my elbow, I'm doing nothing. I project my kinetic energy into your kua. I lock your kua first. Because that is the gearbox of your body. So I lock it. See, you're locked. You lose power up here. You don't realize. All right? So here, feel, right, feel here. All right? I cut into you. All right? And then here, I hook you in. You see, no, can't uh, uh, you can't let go now, right? From the outside, people will say, Kieran, let go, but you can't let go. My power is locked now. You're locked. Yeah. You see, you, you're holding me and yet you can't let go. No. You freeze and I turn you easy. Yes, I can feel it. Through each stage, I can feel exactly what you're doing, yeah. but I can't do anything about it. Yes. Yeah. Now, I teach you how to do it. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Right. Sing your elbow. Yeah, sing here. Ah, yeah, that's correct, right? Ah, shit, now you lock my qua. Alright? Here's this part here, cut me. Ah, use this part here, hook me. Ah, shit, now I can't let go. Right? Flip. Mm, I feel the changes. You feel the changes? Yes. So that is an A, B, C, D. I just taught you the A, B, C, D of this movement. So you got to practice. So when you catch me, when you catch me here, you see, immediate. It's an immediate reaction from me. So you got to practice that A, B, C, D immediately. Ah. Yeah. Huh? Yes, you can feel it. Yeah, you feel it? Yes. Yeah? You, you're trapped, you're hopeless. You can't let go. You see, because you're using strength, I'm using gain or kinetic energy, and kinetic energy or gain will overcome strength. Uh, again, I'm holding you here. You can do the same thing again. Uh, uh, you see, I can't let go. <laughs> it's whether people want to tell you or do not want to tell you what to do. Yes. But so, I had to go through the motions, step one. Yes, step, two, step, step three. three. But if you keep on practicing, By then yourself. it becomes natural. Yes. Okay. When people hit your arm, you just flip him, the guy goes flying. You see, now you understand what Jing is. King. Yes. Yeah, you understand what it is. But Yi, you don't understand, you see? All right? Not only you, a lot of people don't understand what Yi is. I would say a good 90, 95% don't understand what it is. All right? So Yi will be King. Your jin. So to understand yi, you must first understand king. Yes. Jin. So you've reached the jin level. So as you practice, you go further, you start understanding what yi means. And when you start, start, start understanding yi, then you understand what chi is. And then you go higher up the food chain. You know? So first food chain, the lowest food chain is strength, your bull strength. Yes. Next comes jin, kinetic energy. Next comes Yi, your intention, and then Qi, your intrinsic energy. Anything above that, I don't understand myself yes. because I have not reached yes. that level. Yeah. I don't pretend to know. Yes. <laughs> Neither do I want to talk about it because I don't know what the hell it is. Yes. Huh? Huh? So at this stage now, don't try to understand what Qi is yes. or Shen or Yi is. Because you, 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 you need to climb that ladder to understand what is up there. Yeah. So, funny thing about internal is that when you climb that mountain, you see, ah. And then you climb that mountain, you see, Jesus, there's another mountain so much higher up there. You climb again, my God, when is this end? It never ends. There's no goalpost inside. Every mountain you climb, there's another one higher. That is internal. That's the journey, right? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. because there's no end destination. Yes, and if you put that journey into your art, your Wing Chun, your Wing Chun has no end. 
Your full soul has no end. Your human soul has no end. Okay, I will show you the form and then break it into parts. Okay. The finishing, the ending of uh, soft wind palm, Yam Fong Jiong and Kelly wind palm, Sat Fong Jiong, both of them are the same. The ending is the same. The, end, the ending comes when they do, all right, and then, <laughs> so both of them are the same. But the, here, this hand here, in soft wind palm, she goes, she brushes away. They call it tweet sao in Wing Chun. Wing Chun, Chun says tweet yes. sao. Ma. And second form in Yam Fong Jiong, she goes in this way. Gam sao. Yeah? Pressing hand. Pressing hand. Right? So, uh, uh, do uh, my hand here. Okay. Right. Do this. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. You see, this is a pressure test. You, he, you got the, he resist and stop him from doing his form. His form is doing here. So you got to stop him. So you do his form and come out. Okay. Huh? Yes. Go. Right. Huh? Yes. So, right. Again, uh, do okay. it slowly now. Okay. Uh. Come. You see? Let go. I can't. You can't let go. <laughs> you are catching him. You can't let go. I can't let go of this hand. Yeah. You, but you're catching him. Yes, right. You can't let go. <laughs> Again, when, he, when you can't let go, I'll ask him to release you. He will release you. Oh, go this way. Okay? Okay. Nah. okay. okay. So, come so, out. Ah. Both buffet. Okay? okay. Right. You can't let go. You can't let go. Right. Release him. Relax. You can let go now, right? Again. Same thing. So he I will lock you back. The energy. Huh? <laughs> my bicep and my tricep is locked so much that it was like pain yeah. It hurts. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, it lends a certain truth to the legend that Wu Mei was one handed. Yeah. You know, so one hand, she can lock both your hand. As I explained to your car, yes. this is the meaning of Gam Sao. It lends a new meaning to Gam Sao. Actually, they call na, right? Yes. Seizing, right? Uh, in our term, we call it fong. In, in Cantonese, it's called fong. Fong means to seal, you know, like you seal a box. Okay. Yeah, so th that is our, our term for it, like, to seal, you see? Now, how it works is, again, it's based on structure, you see? Okay, to, to explain that, maybe we backtrack a bit, you see? So, when we fight, there are a few levels you can fight with, right? At the very physical level, it's just strength versus strength, power versus power, right? And the bigger guy would normally win. But when you move up the next level, when you talk about internals, then you're talking about structure and internal power, right? Who has the faster bullet train, yes. <laughs> right? Or the more powerful bullet train, or even before that, your structure. Because without the structure, you cannot generate those forces, right? Right? So in seizing, what we're doing is we are attacking your structure to prevent you from generating force. You see? So let's say you come at me. No. See? I've taken your balance, I've taken your structure. You can see, you're totally, right? Yes. All I did was there. Not much force at all. And I feel like I can't move. Yes. And now all the weight is in this leg. Yeah. I can't move it. Yeah. Right? And you try to kick with that? I can't. Yeah. See? So I'm attacking your structure. I've disrupted it so that your energy cannot flow. Really. Yes. And then you can't even exert muscles because you're already off balance. You're too busy fighting to control your balance. Yes. So maybe just to explain a bit more. Uh, with this, I'm, I'm applying... You can. Uh, to attack your structure, I'm applying the four principles. Yeah, and this is common in most of the southern arts. Okay, float, sink, all right, draw, expel. So what I did was sink on you, see? 
This is sink. Yeah, right? Yeah. Down, right? Yeah. But let's say you come again. See, this is float. Mm. Now it's in my heels. Yeah. Right? So you can't do anything. No. Right? Yeah. Okay. So you come again. This is draw. Yes, it's pulling me in. You already come in. I didn't pull you in. I let you in. Okay. <laughs> right? <laughs> so the harder you charge, see? <laughs> the harder you come in. I'm not using my energy, I'm using your energy. I'm letting you come in. I draw you in. Right? And to expel. So, so it comes from an understanding of one structure. So in order to understand your structure and feel your structure, I have to know my structure. You know, as they say, before you know your enemy, you have to know yourself. Yes. So that is the stage you've got to go through. You've got to go to a stage where you have a very good foundation and feel for your own structure. Then you can tap into the other person's structure and that's where you start to control them. So for us, let's say you first attack, right? Yeah. I've already taken you. You've got no chance to throw the second one. No. And it's up to me what I want to do with it. So for us, that's why a fight is not an exchange of punches. At first contact, I want to be able to destroy your structure. 